All right, we're back. Our seventh lesson here. Uh, one thing we probably should have talked about a while ago is uh, if you hit shift and then the uh, period key on your keyboard, uh, that will zoom you into your selection. So let's say that, uh, let's go even further in here. Let's say you've got one of these faces selected. Again, if you hit shift and period, look at that. It'll zoom you right in. Uh, okay, while we're in edit mode, and remember, just hit tab to go in and out of edit mode. While we're in edit mode, let's uh, hit the B key. Let's select all of these faces up here. Actually, let me go ahead and deselect everything I had before. There we go, do that one more time. And uh, let's hit Shift D for duplicate, okay? And you can see we just kind of popped the top off of this thing. Now, remember, we did duplicate this. We didn't just cut these off of here. Uh, but I actually do want to cut them off. So uh, let's go ahead and just hit uh, B again. We'll take away some of these. I'm going to hit X on the keyboard, and let's just delete the faces. Okay, so those guys are all gone. And um, even though we duplicated, it seems like these are two separate uh, ob shapes right now. They really aren't. So if I hit tab, you'll notice that when I you know, go back out into object mode, uh, you know, you see that orange around it. It's all, it's all still one shape. So I hit tab again. We're still back inside of here. Uh, but within here, if you were to hit uh, control and then L, you'll notice that that's going to just select anything that is connected to this mesh. So again, I'm going to hit A to de just deselect things. I'll come back down here to this one. Again, hit Control L, and you can see it selects everything that's connected over there. Uh, if I did want to sh separate this top part into a whole different object, uh, what I would do for that, okay, so let's go back over to here, select this, I'm going to hit Control L, and then I'm going to hit the P key, and you see it says separate by selection, just there we go. Just by selection is fine. Hit tab again. You'll notice now that um, I can select this guy independently. Hit tab again. You can see I'm in edit mode now only for this little unit right here. So we go back down this way. Uh, I'm actually going to undo that though. So I'm going to go back. There. Oh, well, I went back a little bit too far. All right. There we go. Um, so what I wanted to show you guys is how we could kind of rejoin these back together again. So uh, let's go over here and I'll just select the vertices. And I'm going to go into perspective mode here, so I'm absolutely sure what I'm selecting. Okay, so I've got that one. I'm going to hold down Shift to select this one over here. Going to grab this guy and then this guy. And then you'll see off to the left, we've got make edge slash face. And sure enough, look at that. It puts them back together again. And, of course, you could go the really tedious route and then, you know, doing this for as many of those phases you wanted to reconnect back up again, right? Uh, and then I would assume at this point, if we hit control L, sure enough, uh, to, you know, select the linked meshes, those are now linked back together again. And you know what? Our three minutes are up. So I'll see you in the next video.